to enable.org presents mathematical literacy estimating length and distance why do we have to, uh, to be able to, to estimate in everyday life we do not always have measuring tools available whether that's to measure distance length weight temperature etc we often need to measure lengths, for instance, when we have to buy a material for building or repairing, or fabric when sewing. So, for instance, when we have to buy a piece of wood, or a piece of fabric, or a piece of ribbon, or a piece of rope. Often in exams, we have to consider whether an answer is correct, but because we don't have the background, it is easy to just accept the answer on the calculator. Okay, so therefore, this is also an, a, a way for us to help and estimate an answer. What can I use to estimate? How long is a meter? From your shoulder to your fingertips, that's more or less a meter. So if I, for instance, have to measure the width of a bed, that an, you can visualize putting your hand on the bed, then you know well that's about a meter so if your calculator gives you 13 meters as an answer for the width of a bed you know well that isn't really possible or it is one large step an average door is about two meters tall so if you just look around you while you're writing an exam and you think of how high the door is you know well that is more or less two meters how big is one centimeter? Your finger is about one centimeter wide. So the width of your finger is about one centimeter. A folio page is about 30 centimeters long and 20 centimeters wide. So the exam paper that you are writing on is 30 meters high and 20 meters, to, uh, to 30 centimeters high and 20 centimeters wide. So that is immediately also another thing that you can use to estimate. Example one, you need to buy a piece of fabric. You need a piece that is 60 centimeters wide and two meters long. You cannot find a measuring tape anywhere. What are you to do? Okay. We have a door. Remember, a door is approximately two meters high. And an exam pad is about 30 centimeters high. So this is our piece of fabric. We first put an exam pad along, along the width and we'll see, well, an exam pad is 30 centimeters wide. So I have 30 and 30. 30 plus 30 is 60 and I put it next to a door and I say well it's slightly longer than a door but what we want is we want at least two meters long so it can be longer than that okay so here I have the, the calculation 2 times 30 centimeters is 60 centimeters and that's what we wanted and the door is two meters high voila we have estimated the the um, length and the width of the piece of fabric. You want to know how long your pencil is, but you do not have a ruler. Okay, your finger is approximately one centimeter wide, so I have one, two, three, four, five fingers. So if one finger is one centimeter, then five fingers is five centimeters. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.